I absolutely love all of the concepts that are being introduced at Town Hall 16. I mean, come on. A blacksmith that forges hero equipment? That makes me think that I'm fighting ready to go into battle or to go to a heavy joust and I'm here to pick the equipment that's going to allow me to destroy my enemy. Come, I've got something for you. The blacksmith is definitely a very cool idea and it is definitely going to be meta changing but I find it very interesting that there was not a new signature defense that was introduced at Town Hall 16. Yes, I know we do have the Ricochet Cannon and the Multi-Archer Tower, but ever since Town Hall 9, we've always had some new crazy concept defense that does something different introduced at every new Town Hall level. That is, until Town Hall 16. At Town Hall 9, for example, we got Expos. Town Hall 10, we got Inferno Towers. Town Hall 11 saw the introduction of the Eagle. At Town Hall 12, they introduced the Weaponized Town Hall. Town Hall 13 introduced Scatter Shots. And Town Hall 14 was the Battle Builders which the battle builders were a bit wimpy but come on i mean all the guy has to fight with is a hammer right but still a defense that can heal other defenses and that was the signature defense at town hall 14 that's cool right at town hall 15 of course we have the awe inspiring monolith that's giving so much of us trouble with our queen walks is just taking our troops down and let's not forget those annoying spell towers whether they were on invis rage or poison but in town hall 16 we get a better version of the cannon and a better version of the archer tower albeit very cool better versions of the cannon the archer tower but we also kind of already have that in the game already. In May of 2017, Supercell introduced the Double Cannon, and soon after, the Geared Up Archer Tower. Both, of course, were connected with getting the Six Builder on the Builder Base, but I don't see them used much, mainly because their performance is rather lackluster. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't think that the Ricochet Cannon and the Multi-Archer Tower are going to be near as disappointing as the Geared Up Cannon and the Geared Up Archer Tower, which are very similar, but it does make me question why no signature defense being introduced at Town Hall 16. One of the reasons is because Supercell is having to deal with the issue of having over 100 buildings on the map. Currently, if a building is destroyed, then that building counts as essentially 1% destruction or more than 1% if you're a lower town hall and have a lower number of buildings on your map. But once the number of buildings goes above 100, then each building at that point is theoretically worth less than 1%, which means at some point during the raid, a building could be destroyed, but the percentage score at the bottom does not actually go up. This could especially be a problem if a player is doing all they can to eke out just a few more percentage at the end of the attack. The last building is destroyed, putting their clan over the top to win the clan war. But then right before that archer or that minion dies and that building goes down, there's no change in percentage destruction. Now, Supercell could solve this problem in one of two ways. Now, number one, they could start adding decimals to the percentage counter during the attack. This is already used at the end of Clan Wars. I'm sure you've seen it. It shows which clan had a higher percentage overall. You'll see 97.23% or what it is. And that could be easily done and shown during an attack as well. But that doesn't feel near as clean 
And as nice as having a nice whole round number that shows up at the bottom in the bottom right hand corner during your attack. Option number two, if they want to keep that number below 100, is they could start combining buildings. That way when they added new buildings, then that number won't actually go over 100. Now we've already seen that happen with the regular and dark barracks, for example, but Supercell does have to be careful because having trash buildings is a key component to attacking and funneling in Clash of Clans. For example, certain troops, such as the Sneaky Goblin, are specifically used to help funnel during a Queen Charge. Currently, at the pre-Town Hall 16 version of Town Hall 15, the number of defensive versus non-defensive buildings currently sits at 57 defensive buildings, or buildings that shoot back at you, that is, if you include the two spell towers in that calculation, to 42 non-defensive buildings if you happen to have the six builder. Now, I know a lot of you haven't even bothered with the six builder. Totally okay. That's the case. You have 41 non-defensive buildings. For a total of 99 or 98 buildings currently in the home village. So it appears that Supercell is fixing this over 100 buildings on the map issue so they don't have to change the percentage at the bottom by combining cannons and by combining archer towers. That way when that is done then they can give us really cool stuff like they're going to give us with the blacksmith. Again, don't get me wrong, I'm very happy with everything that Supercell has done and is going to be introducing at Town Hall 16. We have a new troop, we have a new hero pet, we have the blacksmith, which is absolutely amazing, but I did find it very interesting that they have not introduced a signature defense at Town Hall 16. Now, there's no rule in the book that says that they absolutely have to introduce a new signature defense at each Town Hall level, and it kind of gets difficult the more town halls you put out, the more ideas you have to come up with. Anyway, and also, they could possibly be working on something right now, something that they will introduce in a future update that will cause us all have to adjust the way that we attack. will be meta and game-changing, and this video will be completely worth us because they will introduce a Town Hall 16 signature update. But will they do that? I don't know. Let me know what you think about the fact that Town Hall 16 does not have a signature defense. Until then, I will see you next video. Tip Dog 20 signing out.